Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 10 kids who were raised by wild animals. Perhaps when you were misbehaving as a kid, somebody would ask, were you raised by wolves? But of course, that never actually happens outside of movies. Well, not always, as today we're going to be checking out some incredible examples of feral children who were raised by wild, sometimes dangerous animals. Before we begin, be sure to click the red subscribe button and the bell icon too. Coming in at number 10 we have Oksana Malaya. This girl is from Ukraine and was a totally normal, happy baby. However, her parents neglected her at an early age and she soon wound up homeless at the age of just one. Her only company was stray dogs who lived around the town. She took after these dogs who fed her and showed her shelter. She would walk around on all fours, bark and bite at people she didn't like and eat food like a dog, using her tongue to lap up the food. Finally, at the age of seven and a half, she was found by social services and they were stunned to see she was more dog than human. She was transferred to a foster home and underwent years of emotional, social and behavioural therapy to try and turn her into a human again. However, she only made it so far and in adulthood she still shows many characteristics of a canine. She works at a farm milking cows and speaks some Russian. However, as she was found quite late into her childhood, many of her habits were already formed by the age of seven. Today she is happy and sees herself as a normal human. However, it's clear that readjusting to normal life is no small feat when you've been brought up by dogs for most of your childhood. Next up is Bello. In Nigeria, a boy was born disabled. His parents didn't want him because of this and thought his life would be tough and he would make their lives tough too. They abandoned him in the jungle and probably expected him to be doomed. However, despite only being months old, a family of chimps came across the boy and cared for him as their own. Years later, hunters spotted the chimps, but were stunned when a human walking on all fours like a chimp was following them. You see, the boy walked like a chimp, screamed like a chimp, and even threw food around like a chimp. The hunters took him to a refuge and he was put back to living with humans. However, this was a big adjustment, and at night, Bello, as he was named by his adopted parents, would leap around the room and throw things. It would be like you having to suddenly live in the jungle, which of course would take a little getting used to. He never learnt how to speak like a human or really ever adjust to human life. Had he lived for longer, he may have achieved this, however, Bello passed in 2005 after being rescued by the hunters. Next up is Natasha Mikhailov. This little girl was born in Russia to two very neglectful parents. She lived on the streets and her only friends since birth were stray cats and dogs. She had no humans to learn from, so she learned communication, mannerisms, and survival from the animals around her. She ate food and drank like a dog or cat, sticking her tongue out and lapping it up. She also walked around on all fours much like a cat or dog. Because she was so neglected, she looked very young, with officers saying she looked two when really she was five. She was eventually rescued by police, but she jumped up on them like a dog and clawed at the doors of the police station like an animal. She would even go as far as to play animal games like fetch, and of course, Natasha couldn't speak any Russian, so she barked and made noises instead. This seems so bizarre, perhaps like something from a movie, but this problem is actually more common than you might think in certain poor parts of Russia. This is because rates of divorce, unemployment, and alcoholism are high, leading to many abandoned kids who become wild. Next up is the Siberian Dog Boy. This is another one coming from Russia, specifically Siberia this time. When Andrei Tolsky was just months old, he was abandoned in the Siberian forest. For those who know anything about the forests of Siberia, you would know this means certain doom. The forests are freezing cold and are packed with dangerous animals. However, luckily, these animals turned out not to be too dangerous, at least not to Andre. One day, social workers found Andre by the roadside near a forest after being tipped off. They wondered why he wasn't in school, but didn't realize at the time that he'd been living in the forest raised by a wild dog. The wild dog had found Andre and had taken him on as one of his own. Andre walked, barked, and ate like a dog, and couldn't even utter one word of Russian. Most of these kids were rescued fairly early on in life, but Andre was raised by dogs until the age of seven. Andre sniffed all of his food and bit people he didn't like. However, after a few years, Andre had made amazing changes in acting like a human. He learned how to walk on two legs, use cutlery, and even speak some Russian. He is still learning how to become a human today, and the police are still looking for Andre's very neglectful parents. Next up is the Cambodian Jungle Woman. This story is very confusing, but amazing too. In 1989, a four-year-old girl named Roshan went missing after venturing into the Cambodian jungle. She was later found by police after a farmer caught her trying to steal food. She couldn't speak any language and crawled around on all fours. It wasn't clear what animal had raised her, but that would be the only way she would have survived life in the Cambodian jungle. People thought she was slowly readjusting to human life. However, in 2010, she ripped off her clothes and ran back into the jungle. Last year, she was found again, scavenging in the jungle without any clothes on. So, she was discovered again, however it was also discovered that when she was found the first time, she wasn't who people thought. As I said, people thought it was Roshan, the little girl who ran away when she was four years old. But no, it was actually a girl from Vietnam named Tuck the entire time. Roshan was never found again, but it was Tuck who was found by the farmer all those years ago. Tuck was reunited with her father in Vietnam and adjusted somewhat to human life. However, mysteries still surround Tuck and Roshan's mix-up, and nobody ever knew what happened to Roshan. 
Next up is Marina Chapman. When Marina Chapman from the UK was four years old, she was kidnapped. She was taken to Colombia, but for unknown reasons, her kidnappers left her in the Colombian jungle. It's a dangerous place, especially for a four-year-old. But amazingly, some small monkeys came across her, and we all know that the animal most similar to humans are monkeys, so they took Marina under their wing. They raised her, showing her shelter and helping her find food. It was a lot like the Jungle Book, but in real life. Marina forgot the English she knew and slipped in trees, along with walking on all fours. She's an amazing tree climber too, and stunned hunters when she was finally found. She's since been taken back to the UK and now lives as a human. When she first returned, many newspapers said she was faking it, as they couldn't believe this could really happen. However, it was later confirmed to the public by the police and medical experts that this girl really was raised by monkeys. But it still remains a mystery why the kidnappers ditched Marina in the jungle. Some say the kidnapping went wrong, while others say Marina's trying to hide something and isn't telling the truth. What do you think? Next up is Catboy. Are you a dog or cat person? Well, one little boy from Argentina had no choice. You see, his parents neglected him when he was a baby, but amazingly, he was taken by some cats to live in their family. The cats lived in an abandoned barn, and there were around 20 of them over time as the cats had kids. One day, the owner of the abandoned barn tried to enter it, but saw it was infested with cats. He didn't spot the boy though, which shocked both him and pest control when they came to remove the cats. He'd been fed, kept warm, and nurtured by the cats for two years, and incredibly wasn't in bad condition at all. Those cats really deserved Deserve some catnip as they kept this boy alive, otherwise it could have been certain doom for this kid. The boy has since reunited with his father who vows to be more watchful of his kid. Just remember guys, always look out for your kids, because hero cats don't live in every town. The child has since been re-domesticated and lives a normal human life, despite his friendly feline experience. Next up is Wolf Boy. When Marcos Rodriguez Pantoja was just a child, he was sold to a goat herder by his parents for money. He lived with the goat herder for a few years, but the lonesome goat herder soon passed, leaving Marcos all by himself. He thought he was done for in the harsh mountains of Anora, Spain. However, one day he found a wolf cub and began playing with it. He then fell asleep and when he woke up, he'd been taken into the wolf's lair. Instead of hurting him, the mother wolf initiated him into the pack by adopting him as one of their own. When he was 19, he was found by some hunters and was placed back into the human world. He had to relearn Spanish and he'd forgotten basic things like how to use cutlery or stand up properly. He has since returned to the area he grew up and likes to see the wildlife and admire how kind the animals were to him. He's now a movie actor in Spain and is thankfully living like a normal human again after one wild life. Next up is Daniel. This boy known only as Daniel was abandoned by his family when he was a small boy. He was amazingly taken by goats into the Andes mountains of Peru. These are very dangerous mountains, but the goats helped Daniel survive. They let him drink goat's milk and let him eat the wild berries that the goats consumed. He copied their movements, walking on all fours and making goat-like noises. He couldn't speak any language, but communicated with the goats this way. He was discovered by hikers and was then taken into care and re-domesticated. He was later studied by a US university and it was the researchers who simply named him Daniel, as he had no name. Next up is John of the Jungle. Well, a similar story occurred in real life with a boy named John Sabanya. When he was just five years old in Uganda, he was very poor. Things were made worse by his mother's passing, so John ran off into the jungle to escape from life. This would have normally meant doom, as the Ugandan jungles are packed with dangerous animals and insects. However, a group of monkeys took him under their wing. They protected him from other animals and showed him what and what not to eat. He lived for two years with the monkeys like Tarzan. When he was seven, he was discovered by other humans and was instated into the human world. He'd forgotten some things and acted like a monkey. However, after a while, he went back to normal and had an amazing story to tell. These stories are all so unbelievable, so it's no wonder the press thought they were lying at first. Unfortunately, many of these kids were abandoned, but some just ran away, which is pretty crazy. We've heard of kids running away from home for a day or so. And hey, who knows, maybe you even did it as a kid. But to run into the Ugandan jungle is really something else. Unfortunately, some kids do this and are eaten by the dangerous wildlife. But these kids pretty much got the lottery of life, despite some having a bad circumstance. I mean, it's not every day you get adopted and live by animals. It sounds like something out of a fairy tale or movie, but I assume it was pretty grisly for these kids at the time. Would you ever like to be adopted by animals? It sounds like a cool thing in theory, but on a second glance, probably not a good idea. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the most amazing wild child who was raised by an animal. And be sure to check out my second channel too. There'll be a video for my second channel on screen in a minute, so be sure to click it and subscribe too. And as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.